second day of our trip to Raceway at Uni in Hualien. It's raining and it's cold and we are going to do a bit of bicycling today. I'm not sure how that is going to work. Just arrived at our first stop for today. It's the Dongfong farm or dude ranch. Behind me are nice bald cypress trees. Down there you can see beautiful uh, grapeseed fields. Let's go there first. Nice scenery. The weather is perfect with the clouds and yellow rapeseed fields. That's one of the nice things in the East Rift Valley, the beautiful farm fields. Yoohoo! Awesome. There are a lot of bees here and it smells really nice. But now my pants are all wet. I will hear why action takes place in this container. But the scones are quite delicious. Dongfun des Glaneuses Organic Farm. Food and Agricultural Sales Center. I don't speak French, so I don't know what that means. Des Glaneuses. While I was in the uh, rapeseed fields, they did do some DIY and they made scones with peach and pomelo fruit inside. Let's have a bite. Nice scones. Fresh fruit flavor. Still warm. So if you take route number 193 from Raceway to Ealing, you come, you will pass through this farm. And if you want to learn how to make scones or wheat beer you can make a reservation they have like tiny red bucks here on the rock the owner of the farm just took us to his fields and here you can see a wheat field I didn't know they grow wheat in Taiwan and it's organic too here's another wheat field beautiful and over there you can see the main railway line. We are now going to have lunch at Uli Mien, Uli Noodles. They don't have any English sign. The address is Zhongshan Road, number 94. All right, we just uh, rented a bike at Uli Railway Station. I got an e-bike and that will be quicker than the pedaled ones and now we are looking for the um, for the bike path all right here we are at the start of Yufu bikeway from Uli to Fudi and it basically goes first along the uh, new railway line and then on the old railway line so here you can see we go first along the railway line this bike path is quite well known 
it's mostly flat. You will see a lot of rice fields and rapeseed fields, stuff like that. I'm a bit lazy today. Taking the e-bike is a kind of cheating. If you don't carry a lot of stuff, you definitely want to do the pedaling yourself. Watch out when you cross the street. It's very straight, very enjoyable. Especially today, there's not much sunshine and it's not too hot. It's not raining either, so great time to go for a bike ride on the fully bike path. Speed limit is 15 kilometers. I'm doing 30 right now. Oh, now we come to a rape seed field. The yellow color of the fields is really pretty. I think we are soon coming to the bridge, the old railway bridge, which goes right beside the road bridge. Okay, we are now at the center of the bridge. All right, here you can see the Philippine sea plate on one side and the Eurasian plate on the other. And down here there are footprints, so this is how you want to stand. If you want to stand on both sides of um, the tectonic plates. When the earthquake... Oh, it's an earthquake! There's not much water in the river right now. Okay, let's move on. It's so easy with the e-bike. Antong Station. This is the old Antong Station. Now the bike path goes right beside the station. And Antong is a place where you can do hot spring bathing. The area is over there, the hot spring bathing area. As far as we go on the Fuli bikeway, this is the old Dongli station. Dongli station! 